I'm here to demonstrate how to use Drummer and adjust Drummer so that it can, you can end a song. There's many ways to end a song, but in this case, we're not going to do a fade out, which is kind of a cop out, and that's less popular these days. We're going to just do a kind of a come together. We're going to start out with the drums. Very generic, kind of boring beats are on one and three. I've created an unadorned track using slow jam and I'm doing that so that you can easily figure out what's happening. We'll add a bass part. What we want to do, we'll create an extra track. This is a MIDI track. This is a drummer track. Let's go ahead and label that so there's no confusion. And this is a MIDI track. Option key and drag down. Be very careful that you come straight down. So now you see we have a very MIDI looking track. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. You can tell it sounds exactly the same. So I'm going to add a horn part. So now you can see it's coming together with some rhythms. I want to syncopate that. So how do we do this? The best way is to get into the meat of this. I'm going to make a copy, option, drag, command four, gives you a piano roll view. What I'm going to do, this is a throwaway track. Let's just make it. Let's make everything turquoise. So now you select your drum track, horn rhythms. So let's say we want to line that up. Dat, 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 dat. So I'm going to drag some pieces. We want to have some strong accents that match the horn section. So what I'm doing is I'm hitting option and then drag. Let's take this and slide that right there. So you see what we're doing. We're lining up the accents with the horn section. And I'm also using the snare. Let's do one more of these. Let's drag, let's take this snare, option, drag. We're going to put it right there. We're going to line all these up. Let's, let's have a listen. Let's just accent those two parts. So let's also add some cymbal crashes. Okay. All right, so let's hear this one. All right, so let's just, just add accents for da, da, each place. So option, drag, there we go. So now we just go through the whole thing and we can set up our accents. And here's the critical part. This is where we're ending the song. Here the uh, bass is synchronized, but the drums are not. So we'll go ahead and take care of that. Now let's see what we have. <laughs> I think that you could end it just like that. Let's hear it again. That's okay. That doesn't work at all. So again, we have to drag this down and make some adjustments. So you can see I've added some tracks here. This is what I call a, um, a go crazy ending. Sometimes they go on and on. I've heard some bands like the Allman Brothers play an ending that lasts for several minutes. But I'm showing restraint here. We're just doing a little bit of a go crazy ending, sometimes called a Vegas ending. And 
and hit some symbols. There you go. That's your ending. Now, how did I do that? Let's take a look. I did two here. I've just added another layer of craziness. I just kind of go wild. Symbol crashes. Uh, and the last part is ending with a cymbal crash. I've made it as soft as possible, but that gives you, we'll select all of them. And again, command four. Now we get an idea of what the entire thing looks like. This way the cymbal doesn't drag on and exceed the whole sound. There's other ways to end, but this is my favorite way. This allows the ambiance uh, that you've set in there to work. And you hear that little bit of a ring. And I've taken most of it out, but let's hear that again. Now with the ring, you'll hear what I'm saying. Just a little too long, but I kind of like that sound. As if somebody grabbed the symbol, but there is still a little bit of ring left to it. So I, I find that realistic. So there you have it, how to end a song using drummer.